Hi there, welcome back to Bumble Stitches. This is a channel all about cross stitching and a bit of quilting and sewing thrown in and my name is Nicola and today is episode number 48 on Sunday the 14th of April. I feel like I have to say this so many times when I start these videos that it has been a while and it wasn't entirely intentional but lots has been going on but I'll get on to that in a moment. First of all, thank you for joining me today. Um, as I said, it has been a while. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking with me. Um, and if you are a new subscriber that has found me, you're very welcome to join us all here on the channel. So, what have I been up to? Um, essentially, lots of things have happened since I last saw you. I had a birthday, we had Easter. Um, I had some time off work um, for a bit of a project I was working on and the project I was working on was decorating this room that I'm filming in today and this is the craft room, sort of sewing room slash office slash spare room. I think quite a few of us have got a room that has multi-purposes like that and this room hadn't been touched um, sort of decorated since we bought the house so it was in need of decorating quite badly so I took the days off between um, over the bank holidays at Easter and added a few more days of leave and set about decorating it now I did it all myself um, Justin is by his own admission not the best at decorating and he would <laughs> he would get bored before the job was finished so um, I'm the decorator in the house now this room had a mishmash of um, paint colours on the wall, there was one wall that had some really garish wallpaper, the wall behind me was papered and then painted over and there was lots of preparation to do and it took me quite a long time, there were lots of holes to fill where there'd been shelves up by the previous owners and a whole host of things that needed to be done but I'm happy to say that after an exhausting sort of about five days it took me in total um, it is now done very neutral as you can see at the moment it's looking very very um, dare I say boring behind me there's nothing going on here at the moment um, and that is because I'm still bracing myself to put anything on the walls as much as I want to make it look pretty um, it's that thing of finally getting the walls as near to perfect as I can and just enjoying them why they just look all lovely and smooth and uniform in colour and also making sure that that paint is absolutely 100% um, cured before I put anything on. I think I'm going to just use command hooks but yeah there will be some pretties going up here soon. You can't see much, I'm going to try and spin the camera a little bit so you can just see um, without shaking it too much so you can see there's a stack of um, pictures, excuse my finger, up here and um, some cross stitch pieces that are going to go on the wall um, yeah that was the wall that that wall there this is difficult to do that wall there was the one that had the really hideous wallpaper um yep yeah, and just spinning round this is the other side so i've got two of these ikea units and my desk sits in the middle so there will be um there will be some pretty stuff going on here really soon i did manage to get my floss organized as you can see here i got these sets of hooks from um, Amazon. I did have some of the IKEA pegboard. Um, I bought two ages and ages ago to go behind me, one each side. Um, but there were a couple of issues. One is that the power point, and if you can see just there, is sort of in the middle of the wall. So that meant I'd have to put the pegboards above, which was to be a little bit too high for me because I'm not a tall person. Um, and the other thing is they just looked a little bit too, so I sort of offered them up to the wall with some floss hanging on them and it just looked a little bit too cluttered and busy and I thought I'd rather have some nice cross stitch pieces up there on the wall and some pretty things to look at. So that's what I'm going to do. So that is one of the main reasons that I have not been here because obviously while I cleared the room out, um, did all the decorating, had to put everything back, it took a lot of time and obviously the room and my stash was all packed away, it occupied the dining room, the conservatory, everywhere was just full of boxes and boxes of stuff. But that did give me a brilliant opportunity to um, 
deter any hoarding um, tendencies, um, as I mentioned in my last video, that might ever get the chance to creep in and have a good old sort out and declutter of um, yarn and project bags and books and all sorts of things. I took a massive, um, or oh, a couple of massive bags of things to the charity shop and donated those and also did a bit of a de-stash on my Bumble Stitches de-stash Instagram account. So thank you, if you've bought something from me, thank you very much, you've helped me to make a lot more space and feel a lot more decluttered and reinvigorated. Um, I think sometimes it's lovely to have a stash, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I think it uh, can be a bit overwhelming and you just don't know where to start. And by refining those things down, you can really see what you want to work on and having a clear space I think is very much um, goes hand in hand with a clear mind. So that's what I've been up to on that side of things. Um, during my time away from recording and I've not been on Instagram very much either, I must admit um, and you'll have noticed by the title of this video, um, I was even pondering whether I would come back to Floss Tube at all. For lots of reasons, um, one being, and, I th and quite a few people have mentioned this lately, I was watching, um, I think it was Carol, Saltbox Stitcher, um, it's generating content isn't it, it's about having things to share with you and show you. Um, I don't have a huge budget for showing you huge hauls um, in my videos. So I can't fill the space with that so much. Um, good luck to you if you can, but A, I can't, and B, I need to, as I mentioned, keep things to a minimum so that I can focus more. Um, and it's just finding the time sometimes to stitch and get things finished or fully finished so that there's quality content to share with you all. And I thought with work being busy and life just generally being busy, like many, many of us, um, you know, have I got enough to share? Do people really want to, to see that? And is it enough? And it's, you know, it's, it's a moment of self-doubt, really. Subscriber numbers were dropping. Um, I guess I'm not a very good floss tuber is essentially what I'm trying to say. I do enjoy my time when I do get on here and share things with you I enjoy that immensely and the the feedback that you all give me but I think um, yeah I just had a lot of doubts about whether I would come back at all but I'm back today um, but I've got a favour to ask of you please if you are um, inclined could you leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to see um, you know, if you don't mind seeing the same things over and over again because there's not been um, a huge influx of uh, new projects or, or finishes and things like that, let me know. If you're not worried about seeing huge hauls and things, I know some people are actually quite bothered by seeing huge hauls. Um, yeah, or if you've got any ideas or you know, anything at all, as long as it's constructive um, comments and con uh, criticism, please. And just let me know what your feelings are um, on the way forward for my channel because ultimately this isn't about it's it's a 50 50 thing it's it's about me and it's also about you my viewers and and what you would like to see and if you are watching and you're not a subscriber um, I would love it if you could just hit the subscribe button just to um, not massage my ego but just make me feel a little bit better that people are actually wanting to um, to see content from me and I would really very much appreciate that because you are all wonderful people and you take your time out to sit and watch me. Okay so that is my little um, heart to heart with you over. Uh, let's get on with some of the actual content that I do have for you today. Now I have got some finishes, not fully finishes, uh, I have got some whips, I've got uh, some a beautiful gift that I wanted to share with you all that was given to me. Uh, I have got the giveaway to giveaway winner to announce from the last video, a new giveaway today, and I do have some haul 
so let us get on with that now I'm going to start off by sharing with you because it's right in front of me and it is absolutely beautiful and you would have seen it on the thumbnail if you noticed that and this was a gift stitched and given to me by my wonderful friend Paula who is um, the Snail Garden and Eva Faith on Etsy and she has stitched for me this beautiful I think it's Erica Michaels but she has stitched for me this beautiful pillow stitch all the things with all the lovely little stitching motifs the scissors on there and I like the fact that it's got sow and FFO and whip on there very very appropriate she finished up, finished it off with this lovely ribbon and some little um, coordinating charms here there's a, t a tape measure a sewing machine and I love sewing down there and on the back she's finished it with more of the measuring tape and this is filled with I'm guessing crushed walnut shells it's really quite hefty I've had it sat in the dough bowl up there and really loving it as if that wasn't enough Paula also stitched for me this absolutely beautiful strawberry again the finish is impeccable and this again is stitch all the things and this looks like it's one over one and I don't I think that's probably it looks like 36 count but this is all stitched one over one so what a labor of love and what a lucky girl I am and Paula is a very good friend and I just really appreciate gifts like these um, from a stitcher to a stitcher we know what goes into stitching them and making them don't we and even the you know the FFO and all the little details so that was my wonderful birthday gift from Paula. I'll move that out of the way. Next up, a couple of finishes. Now, the last time I saw you, I was gearing up for Easter and trying to get a couple of Easter finishes done and out on display. Well, I missed that deadline completely. I did get the stitching finished, but as I said, the room was, um, everything was dismantled, sewing machine was somewhere in the dining room and stuff was everywhere so a, a fully finish was not going to happen. But what I did manage to do was get the pieces finished and here finally is Harrietta and Co by Brenda Gervais with their needle and thread. She stitched in all the cord for and I can't remember the fabric, it's one of Paula's, I think it might be 36 count sycamore or catkin as usual Alf's eaten the tag but it's beautiful and she came out so well I just love all the little details her whiskers her nose a little um, bunny basket that she has and I think once this is fully finished it will be beautiful this is the chart here excuse the glare so yeah, poor Harrietta, she didn't make it for this Easter, but she sure will be joining us for next Easter. And when I get her fully finished, I'll pop her in the dough bowl for a little while so I can enjoy her here while I work. The other bunny, well, you can't really call her a bunny because she's very much a lady rabbit. This is the Madame Cottontail. Is it Madame Cottontail? Yes. And this is from Brenda Gervais as well with thy needle and thread. Now I pulled my own flosses from Stash to stitch her and really loved the way she turned out. She's, you see what I mean, she's much more of a, a lady rabbit rather than a bunny. She's quite prim and proper there in her apron, watering her flowers and just so, so pretty. Now the... Um, the chart shows this as a little bag or pocket finish but I think I'd like to have a go at making a stand-up finish for this one because she is quite tall and I think she'd look really nice as a stand-up finish. Now I've never made one before um, from looking at uh, a tutorial from Vonna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher. It looks to me very much like sort of half, half a drum um, finish and then rounding up the the top edge but I will watch the tutorial in full when I um, attempt to tackle this into 
an FFO. But I was really pleased to at least gotten or got her stitched. Um, yeah, so that was another little one for Easter. So I shall put these safely over there. Uh, what else have I been doing? I have been participating in the Millie's Dresses Quilt Along with Fat Quarter Shop and I managed to get my first month's blocks done before the sewing machine went away and all the chaos ensued. Um, so this is Millie's Dresses. You may have seen it. You may have seen it on Instagram and on Fat Quarter Shop's um, YouTube channel. And this uses Laurie Holt's Mercantile range of fabrics which are really really pretty lovely small prints to work with in all the fabulous Laurie Holt shades and I have completed um, enough dresses for row one and I'll just show you those here so I'm very much still um, a beginner quilter but with Laurie's um, really good instructions in the in the pattern even I could manage to get these dresses done so let me just to hold them up and show you so obviously there's this one and then we have this one and my favorite one so far the red and green one I love the way the um, turn back collars this almost looks 3d it looks like it is a little collar standing out and then finally this one here and the um, the quilters that are doing the sew along are sharing their progress on social media on the last Monday of each month which we're calling Millie's Monday so do check out the post to see the progress and if you are quilting along um, let me know and yeah it'd be good to see your progress too I'll follow the hashtag on Instagram so let's pop that to one side. Okay, that leads me now nicely to my works in progress. And I've been a bit all over the place with my stitching, um, not really focusing on anything in particular, but just having lots of fun. And I've even got a couple of new starts to share with you today. Uh, the first project I wanna share with you is a new start. And I'm just gonna grab the chart and the flosses out so I can share those with you and this is Needle and Flax by Teresa Kogut this was a market release last year I believe and this is quite a deceptive little chart um, you get fooled by the picture on the front of a pillow and you think oh that's a cute little pillow and then you start stitching it there is a lot of stitching in this it is 119 by 83 is the stitch count but there's some quite dense patches of stitching this is my progress so far I'm using a 36 count mystery linen um, I think it's a Zweigart summer khaki or something similar but yeah I've got the ladies dress outlined and I'll get that filled in my plan is to do the the first you know to do one page which covers the uh, the spinning wheel and the heart in hand and the lady and then this section here is the the second page I'm stitching this all with the cord for which is DMC and I kitted this up a long, long time ago um, because I've since switched all my DMC to those little white round um, card floss drops. So, and because I am that kind of person, when I finish this, these will have to go onto the white ones as well so they don't mess up um, my new floss organisation. But I'm, I think you guys get me, don't you, on that, making it look pretty. So I'll pop that one back. That was a new start just this week and I'm really enjoying working on that one so let's put that to one side I'm not very organized of where to put things today so I'm just going to pile everything up behind me on the table and sort it out later um, the next project that I'm going to share with you now this is a first for me and this is because I'm stitching on 40 count linen 
which I've never done before. It's always been a bit of a mystery to me. I'm always like in awe of people that can stitch on higher than 36 count. But I, I fell in love with this chart and I knew it had to be stitched on 40 count. So I got some. Uh, the fabric that I got is a 40 count fibre on a whim milk and honey. And the chart that I'm stitching is from Stacey Nash and it's the Velvet Carrot Needle Book. And how beautiful is it? Absolutely stunning. So because of the template that comes with it to make the needle book, the carrot shaped needle book, which you can see there on the back, which I'm just obsessed with, um, in order for the design to fit, it needs to be on 40 count. So I pulled up my big girl pants, got my 40 count out, polished up my eyes, polished up my glasses, polished up my magnifying lamp, and made a start and it wasn't as awful or as difficult as I thought it would be so this is my progress on my little bunny and I started him Easter weekend and progress is slow but steady I haven't stitched on him this week at all but we are getting there and once I've finished filling in the brown of his body there's another section here which is the carrot and a bit more greenery and then I will be ready to attempt to make the needle book. Now I'm using all the called for Weeks Dye Works flosses. And I think I've got some Lady Dot Create Velveteen in my stash that it's not the called for. The called for is, I will tell you the called for. If you can hold one second. Maybe I can't, maybe I can't find it, but I don't think it was a lady dot. I think it was another one. You're probably all shouting at me now. It was Fiddles. No, it wasn't that one. I can't see it on the chart at the moment while I'm looking. Hand dyed linen, tangerine, no, no. I'm waffling, I do apologize, but ultimately the uh, the reason I'm saying that is that I do have something in stash I just need to get some green colored felt to make the um, the carrot leaf fronds at the top and I'm very much looking forward to um, getting on with that project okay the next thing is some car stitching that I've been doing car stitching has been a bit off and on at the moment work's been super busy I was off work for a while so therefore no lunch times at work to do the stitching but one of the little projects I was working on in the car was if I can find the clip this just a little fill-in project which seemed to take a ridiculous amount of time to do and it was this freebie from Fat Quarter Shop by Laurie Holt and it is the Granny Square cross stitch along. Again, this is from absolutely ages ago, but if you go on to Fat Quarter Shop and search for it, I'm sure it will bring it up. And this uses the Prim um, Orifloss box, which I do have, so I thought I'd make good use of it. And here's my little, my cute little finish. And I'm just really thrilled with how much they look like actual granny squares. So this will make a really nice little pin pillow, which I'll get finished hopefully soon. I need a little bit of a finishing session. So that was good to get that done because it means that I'm focusing now on Prim and Proper, which uses the same flosses from that Orifloss box. And I'm gonna get the, I'll get the chart out to show you as well. And I'll show you the flosses as well while we're here. Okay, so this is the, um, the Prim collection. And I stitched my big Prim stitch series piece with this box. Uh, obviously that small one granny square that I showed you and working on this Prim and Proper, all from this box of flosses. Um, now obviously a box of Orifloss this size is an investment anyway, but I still have heaps left. I did have to buy some more of the very dark brown, which is called Raisin, 
and I think another one of these greens because they were quite heavily used in the prim stitch series but there's still heaps left and I really have my money's worth out of those so did I show you the chart there it is prim and proper by Laurie Holt uh, for It's So Emma and here is my progress I'm stitching it on the Zweigart 32 count um, I can't remember if this is called Petty Point or Swiss Dots it's one of those but I really like the contrast of the dotted fabric with that really bold colourful flower design so I'm working away on that at lunch times and this is going to be um, this is hopefully going to end up up here somewhere uh, because I think it's a really nice cheerful design I love this fabric and plus the finished size on 32 count comes out to 8 by 10 inches which is perfect for buying um, an off-the-shelf frame so I'm thinking a nice white vintagey looking frame for this would look really really pretty I think the white will pick up the white dots on the fabric so need to crack on with that so this wall doesn't stay boring for too long and that one needs to go back in the car for tomorrow the pile is getting bigger over here right floor it is just throw that down there and the final whip that I have been working on now as I mentioned there's been lots of things happened since I last saw you I've had a birthday we've had Easter and next up is our Justin and I's wedding anniversary which is um, this Friday coming and it will be two years since we got married which I can't believe that it's been two years already and the reason I'm telling you that is because this is Never Let You Go by Heartstring Samplery and this was going to be my wedding gift to Justin then it was going to be our first wedding anniversary gift to Justin then I was determined at the beginning of this year it would most definitely be our second wedding anniversary gift to Justin well that's not going to happen is it I've got so much more to do but this is a beautiful stitch let me just share some of the details with you uh, this is as I mentioned by Heartstring Samplery I believe there is a stitch along going um, that Laurie Holt started on her last floss tube and I know if you're anything like me you are Ang uh, eagerly, not angrily, eagerly anticipating Laurie's next floss tube. I know she's a very busy lady, but I'll be keen to see how she's getting on with hers. So this is the chart, Never Let You Go, by Heartstring Samplery. And as you can see, I've done the top band here with the alphabets, and I'm working on this section here. Now, this section in this little cartouche is one over one. I'm using a 36 count fabric. The fabric I'm using is from Vicky at West Green Loft um, Yarns and Linens and it's the Colourway Biscuit which was one of her fabric of the months from last year. But when we get to this section here, this is all one over one. And whilst I can do it, clearly because I've done some already, it's slow going. This is a 36 count, but even so, it's quite slow going. But I'm happy that at least some progress has been made. But I'm sorry, Justin, you're not going to get this this year. Maybe next year. So that concludes all my stitching that I've been doing and some of my sewing. So I hope you enjoyed looking at that. I didn't mention that I'm using for Never Let You Go, I'm using all the cord for, which is a bit of a combination of Weeks, Gentle Art, I don't think there's any classic colour works in here, yeah, Weeks and Gentle Arts flosses. There. So I have been stitching. Some days I haven't stitched at all. When I was decorating, I was so tired I couldn't even think straight, let alone look at my stitching um, but yeah hopefully some calmer times ahead and some more progress on those things let's move on now to the winner of the last videos giveaway and this was for the stackables 
series from It's So Emma and I think they're almost all here. There may be one, possibly two months missing and one of them, the April, had the Classic Colourworks flosses in as well, which was kindly donated by a viewer. So uh, thank you for all your entries on this and the winner is Jane Styles 4024. So thank you, Jane, congratulations for winning these stackables. Um, I will have popped your photograph up here of your um, the winning entry. And if you could contact me, please, at the email address in the description box down below, um, give me your address and I'll get these sent out to you as soon as possible. So, let's have a look at some haul that I have received. I'm sorry for the twirling backwards and forwards on my chair. Let's just bring these things over and then I can chat to you about them. And one more little pile of things here. Okay, first of all, market happened. Of all the things that happened, I mentioned all the other things, I forgot to mention market. And fortunately, market fell on the weekend of my birthday. So I was able to get a few more charts than I would have normally because I had some birthday money. And I'm gonna preface this by saying, are you even a cross stitcher if you didn't get some of Stacey Nash's new animal crackers at market? Because they are everywhere. Stacey Nash must be so thrilled with the success of these cute little charts, and rightly so. So what did I get from market? I got, of course, Bobbin. And people have finished these already, if you follow if you're on Instagram, you will have seen finishes of these on Instagram and on Floss Tube. So that's Bobbin. I also got, of course, Maggie May to go with all the other bunnies to keep those company. I got Miss Hazel the squirrel. I got the flosses for this one as well ready, so she's she's almost good to go. From Stacey Nash, I also got the uh, Le Poulet Pinky with this lovely French hem with his party hat on. Really, really like that one. Love the, the quirkiness of it with his little hat on. I got from Heartstring Samplery. Um, home is where the doggo is which I think was so cute. This had various options. It also had home is where the cat is, home is where the heart is, I think. But I had to get the dog one. And the little doggy at the top on the roof, I'm gonna do in the same colors as our own dear Alfred. So I'm gonna pop him up there when I get a start on this one eventually. And then, because I just thought they were so lovely, I got these two two companion charts, Stars and Stripes. So obviously Stars is from Plum Street Studios. Quite a dense stitch again on that one. That one is, I can't see, there's a note in the back of the chart, but there's quite a lot of stitching in that house, but how beautiful is it? And then the companion chart from um, Shakespeare's Peddler has the ampersand in the Stars and Stripes and then the other um, sort of barn style house there as well. I don't know when I'll get round to doing these but I couldn't pass them up. I thought they were, it was such a, a good idea to have the, the inter, you know, the, the middle pillow as well. I thought it was just such a clever idea. So those were my um, little bits of market haul. I was very, very pleased with. And I actually purchased um, my charts from Lindy Stitches. She had a fabulous uh, pre-market series of videos that went through all the new designs that were out and the website was really easy to navigate and the pre-ordering process. So um, good job to Lindy and I think Jason, her husband. And considering I'm in the UK, these got across to me really, really quickly. Okay, uh, the next thing I wanted to share with you, or the next few things, are all from Vicky at West Green Loft Yarns. As you know, I'm a big fan. I've been buying Vicky's linen since the um, beginning, and I've got two monthly um, 36 count fat quarters here to share with you. So this is the first one, 
and this is in the colourway Bark. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you this in a bit more detail. These are all on a Zweigart base. So that's absolutely stunning. I love Vicky's linens because they are hand dyed and they do have some mottling, but they are not, they're just subtle. I just love Vicky's aesthetic. And this one here, oh, it doesn't have a name, but it's this beautiful, very, very light, delicate, minty spring green. Really, really pretty. I think this will work really well for some Christmas um, stitching as well. So those arrived and I, as part of my birthday celebrations, I treated myself to the spring box. Um, Vicky did a Christmas one and this was the spring one. I've kept everything in here and everything is just so, so gorgeous. It came all packaged with the pretty pink paper. And in here there was um, this design from Cherry Hill Stitchery, which is Bunnies Love Carrots. And this has got all the full kit in there, everything you need for finishing as well. And so there's all these little sort of goodie bags. If you see these pop up on pre-order, you will not be disappointed with Vicky's um, boxes and that, they're fabulous. There's a little teeny tiny bunny needle minder in there. Together because I'm thinking well I've definitely missed the boat for spring this year so I'll save this for next year a small wooden hoop for using or using for displaying uh, there is a little sachet of hand lotion which I'll keep to one side because that's always handy and then there was a design from a chart from Christina of whilst iris naps and Christina has worked with um, has collaborated with Vicky previously on the Christmas box but this time we've got this cute little bunny and there's even the little pom-pom in there just to pop on his little bottom there super super cute so that is the spring box pop that away and then a final piece of haul and this was a new to me seller on Etsy um, I treated myself to a project bag. I cannot resist a beautiful, nicely made project bag. And I got this one. How gorgeous is that? It's got a little charm on it. Plain fabric on the back. A lovely brass zip. And a gorgeous sort of vintage looking fabric lining and this came from little Jamie handmade on Etsy she's on Instagram as well and when I ordered this Jamie very kindly sent me this matching quilted pouch which has got a box bottom and again a lovely little metal zip and her tag so how pretty is that so she has some the last time I looked, she had some beautiful bags on her Etsy still. So I would encourage you to pop over and have a look at those. Now, as I mentioned, Jamie did pop this little pouch in with my parcel as a gift. But I would like to pass this on to one of you as part of today's giveaway. So I'm going to move it out of the way while I quickly share with you some things that were sent by Fat Porter Shop and then we'll do today's giveaway. So first up are a huge selection of quilt patterns and there's a couple of small ones. These are their little pea range. So we have Honeycrisp and Cross Trainer. So these are the smaller ones. These are um, one's 38 and a half by 38 and a half and the other one's 42 by 42 inches. So just really cute little quilts. And then we've got some full size patterns. So we have Daisy Patch. I'm trying to read these back to front. Early Bird. Colour Me Crayons. I think this one probably uses a jelly roll. Yep, you can use a jelly roll for that. Fabulous. 
uh, Chantilly, really lovely. And these all come in various sizes. They give you all the, um, the sizes on the back and the fabric requirements. Poinsettias and peppermint bark. This looks more Halloween-y to me than peppermint would suggest Christmas, but you can make it whatever you want with the fabrics of your choosing. So these are some fabulous new quilt patterns from Fat Quarter Shop. And they also sent me, and I've been so excited to use these, but I haven't opened them. They sent me a pack of their new cloth bitties and these are magnetic um, fabric tamers I would call them um, if you've got a lot of fabric in your hoop or your hand stitching you know stitching by hand and you just need to corral some of that excess fabric these are fabulous they've got the lovely little cross stitch heart in a hoop design on both sides quite a lot of space and there's got a bit of elastication in there and the magnets on these are really really powerful they look like little headphones now don't they um headphones for a teddy bear no seriously these are fabulous when they they get that close they really want to join up so they you get two of those in a pack and i'm going to be trying these out now on some of my bigger projects where there's a lot of excess fabric to keep out of the way while stitching so a fabulous invention there you can get um similar things on amazon which i've bought before and found they're not very strong these are super strong so let's do the giveaway i'd like to put together all these wonderful um quilt patterns that i've just shared with you from fat quarter shop along with this lovely quilted pouch which would be great for putting your rotary cutter and bits and pieces in it for your quilting or your pencils or your makeup or anything you like um, just beautiful I'd like to put these two together as a bundle and we'll have a keyword of quilt so that's nice and simple to remember and I will draw a winner for that on the next episode which I don't know when that will be but we will try our best so thank you very much for listening to me waffle at the beginning of the video. I hope you have enjoyed um, me catching up with you today and I will see you all again. Take care. Bye.